Well, once again, back to the card corner. Glad you could make it this time again. I'm going to show you something a little bit different with gambling with the deck of cards. By the way, dear, I'm going to cheat. You don't mind, do you? No, it's only with the cards, so it's all right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there are many, many ways and many, many things that gamblers can do with the deck of cards. In order to demonstrate, I'm just going to use four cards to get started. We'll use the four aces because they're about as good as you can get. But I was down in Las Vegas not too long ago, and an elderly gentleman came up to me. Now, this is a true story. I know it's a true story because I make it up as I go along. This elderly gentleman came up to me and he said, son, you can tell he's elderly when he called me son, you know. He said, son, he said, you seem to be able to handle a deck of cards fairly well. He said, tell me, are you making any money at the tables? I said, well, you know how it is. You win a little, you lose a lot. He said, well, son, I'm going to show you something. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is not my job, nor is it my intention to teach anybody here how to cheat with the deck of cards. However, I will now show you exactly what he showed me. He said, son, he said, if you're ever in a friendly little game and you see four cards that look very similar, such as the four aces, he said, what you do is you just take them and sneak them under the deck like that. Of course, you never let anybody see you doing that. He said, now, when you go to shuffle the cards, you cut them normally, but remember where the aces are, because you shuffle them onto the table first, and then the rest just go on top. Now, as he explained, you can do this all day, and you'll never disturb those four cards down at the bottom of the deck. He said, now, son, he said, how many people would you like to see in a friendly little game of poker? I said, I don't know, around our house, we usually play what, about five hands? Five hands? He said, well, then this is the way you should deal. One, two, three, four. But when it comes to yourself, you just reach underneath and take an ace. So each time you go around, you just reach underneath and take one. Now, as he said, if you start to speed it up a little bit, it starts to look a whole lot better. He said, now, son, he said, if you go home and practice that for just two or three hours a day, for six or seven years, you can always get the four aces, and of course, you'll win a great deal of money. I said, sir, thank you very kindly for the information. But you see, where I come from, you wouldn't be allowed to do that. You see, if I had the four aces, I'd be required to lose them somewhere into the center of the deck. Secondly, I couldn't give it any of those funny shuffles. I must give it an honest shuffle. Matter of fact, where I come from, they require that the deck is shuffled at least twice. After the deck is shuffled, they ask for the cut. When you deal out the cards, you must make sure that your card comes right off the top. Otherwise, they can accuse you of cheating, and they break arms, fingers, <laughs> legs, necks. <laughs> Last week, I met one fellow who actually got excited. No, really. After each player has his hand, he then looks at it to analyze the value. Once they do that, then, of course, they bet. Once the betting is completed, each player is required to prove his hand by showing it to the others. This man, he got a pair of threes. This man, he got a handful of nothing. He's not doing too well. He's running out the door. The old man looked at me and he said, son, you weren't paying any attention to what I just showed you. I said, oh, why thought? He said, look, you have one, two, three aces out already. He said, you know, son, there is no way you can have four aces in your hand unless there's seven aces in that deck. He said, you know, son, down here in Vegas, that's the one thing that we call cheating. I said, sir, I didn't say I was going to have four aces. All I ever require is the winning hand. And do you know anything that could possibly beat the royal flush in spades? Mm. By the way, my brother, we're having a little game at my house tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you speak to any professional gambler anywhere in the world, if you have the chance for the opportunity, perhaps you could ask them a question. Now, I'm not talking about somebody like yourself who sits down on a Friday or Saturday night to play a friendly game of poker. I'm talking about the man who deliberately sets out to rob you, the professional cheat. Perhaps you care to ask him just one question. If you could only do one move with a deck of cards to take the money by cheating, what would it be? And quite possibly he would tell you that if he could, it would be to deal any card he wants from any position in the deck. It is referred to as the center deal. He will also tell you it cannot be done. Ladies and gentlemen, he would not be telling you the truth. I am now going to demonstrate to you the legendary center deals. The ace of spades, ace of hearts, ace of diamonds, and the ace of clubs. And as you can see, the four aces are centered into the center of the deck. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is conceivable I could have counted how many cards there were between each ace. But I'm going to place them in flush and then give the deck just one fair shuffle. 
Now, after the deck has been shuffled, there should not, of course, be an ace on the bottom or one near the top. But my friend, if you look through the cards, you will see that they are scattered and separated. Of the four aces, which do you prefer? The spade, the heart, the diamond, or the club? Spade. Spade. Now, in every game of poker, we must have between two and eight players. So how many people would you like to see in this game? Three. Three. So the third card should be the ace of spades. One, two, and the third card, the ace of spades. That leaves you with the heart, the diamond, and the club. Which do you prefer? Heart. Heart. And how many people would you like to see in this game? Five. Five. Now, would you like me to deal it face up or face down? Face up. Face up. The fifth card, the ace of hearts. One, two, three, four. The fifth card, the ace of hearts. We're getting to know where they are pretty good, so uh, we'll just give the deck a little shuffle. Dear, you're left with the diamond and the club. Which do you prefer? The club. Club. And how many people would you like to see in this game? Seven. Seven. Face up or down? Face up. Face up. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh card, the ace of clubs. That, my friend, now leaves you with just one suit, the diamond suit. It's not here, and it's not here. But as you know, in every game of cards, you are allowed to ask for a cut. So would you please cut one half the deck over to here? Thank you. You're left with the ace of diamonds. And how many people in this game? Five. Five, and you want it face up or down? Up. Up. One, two, three, four. The fifth card, the ace of diamonds. Any ace at any number can